In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon S3 account. And then uh, you'll use the Cloudberry Explorer, so you'll need to download that. And then we'll use that to upload and uh, share your e-learning courses or your portfolio. Now the reason I like Amazon S3 is a few reasons. So a lot of people are using services like Wix where you can create some really nice e-learning sites or portfolios. The problem is you can't upload your courses. So Amazon S3 allows you to upload your courses and you have a place uh, to store things and then share those using a web a web link. And then uh, some people are using Google Drive uh, to share courses or web pages. Well that service is going to stop in August. So whoever's got that on there, that's going to have to be changed or uh, those links won't work. And then some people are using Dropbox. And Dropbox is fine, uh, but it's really not designed to serve e-learning courses. So sometimes you get into some random glitchiness or the um, the actions don't work right or the media doesn't play right. So it's not necessarily ideal. So Amazon S3 is nice. It's affordable and uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, it's, it's not free, but you do get 5 gigabytes initially and then after a year you have to pay. But if you look at the pricing, it's like 3 cents a gigabyte and then whatever your data uh, use is. But you know, if you're not running a big business, it's just a portfolio, you're probably talking about you know, a couple of bucks a year. Uh, to host uh, your your courses on there. Um, so anyway, what you'll need to do is you'll need to create an account. I already created an account, but go ahead and create an account. So walk through the process of creating an account. All right, so I'm signed in as Joe Demonstrator, and now uh, I know I have an account. Now what you need to do is uh, go to the CloudBerryLab.com and download the CloudBerry Explorer. It's a free app, and then install that. And after you install that, you should have something like this. So you open it up. You kind of have two sides. And the way it is is like one side is this my computer. The other side will be my S3 account. And then I can drag and drop um, the files that I want to share. So I have it set up. It's going to my Articulate project. So if I publish to that folder, when I open up my uh, CloudBear Explorer app, that folder will always be there. And I can just find the course I just published and drag it over. And then on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to want to set up a folder on our S3 service. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to go to File, go to New S3 Account. So just come up with a name. I'll call it um, I'll call it My Portfolio. Doesn't really matter what you want to call it. Oops. Just uh, so you have an account name. And then this is where you're going to go to S3 and get an access key and a secret key. So go back to your S3 account, go up to your username, and there's security credentials. Now don't worry about mine. Um, this is going to be deleted, so none of this stuff is going to matter if you see it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create a new access key. And you can download the key so you have it. I'm going to show access key. So I'm going to copy the access key. And I'm going to go to my CloudBerry. I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to come back to here and copy my secret key. And then I'm going to paste that in here. And then you can test the connection. All that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll hit OK. And now you can see I've got my portfolio account on CloudBerry. So we'll go ahead and close that. And so I've got on one side, I've got my computer and whatever folder you want to link to. And on this side, I've got my, my portfolio. And so let's go ahead and create a bucket. So you get the link here, a new bucket. Now the bucket is like your main folder. It's the place on the Amazon S3 site. It has to have a unique name. So I'm going to create a new one. I'll call this one Joe Demo and hit OK. So you can see I've got a bucket. Now inside the bucket is where I can start putting my folder. So you can just double click on it. Now before we do that, I want to point out you have some security options. So you have uh, you can grant some security. Like let's say you put a course in in your bucket and you want to let everybody look at it. And you just hit public and you can see it changes the read permission so it, all users can look at the files in there. Okay, Or you can set it to private. I'm going to hit cancel. Um, you can also set a bucket policy that's universal to that whole policy so you don't need to set permissions for every single file or folder. 
and I'll show you how we do that. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Joe demo folder. So there's nothing in there. So you can create as many folders in here as you want. I'm just going to create one and I'll just say this is my portfolio um, demos, right? So I got my portfolio folder here and then inside that folder I'll just put course one. So this is where I'm going to put my first course. So I've got my course one folder. I'm going to open it up. There's nothing in here. So what I can do is go to one of my published storyline or e-learning courses. And I have a couple of options. So one is, let's say I've got one here. Um, here's a course that I published. I can just basically select these folders and drag it over. Or I can come into my published folder here. And so that's the stack order I was just messing around with. So I'm going to select all these files and I'm going to move that into my course folder. And then you can see they're uploading. Now I didn't set any permissions on this. So what's going to happen when we try to access this or share the link uh, you're going to get an access denied. So we're going to see how we fix that. So I've got my files up here. You can see everything's done. I'm going to select my story.html file. You see this web URL or you can right click and you see web URL. Uh, that'll give you a link. So we're going to copy the link here. And you can see there's some other things you can do. We're just going to copy the link and we're going to come back to Firefox here. Let's open up a window and let's paste that link and see what happens. Oh, and I get an access denied. And the reason I have access denied is because I didn't give permission uh, to that folder. So I'll show you two ways to do that. If we come back to Cloudberry, I can give permission at the folder level. So for example, I just uploaded this. This is the only one I want you to be able to see. So I can select the folder. I'm going to go to act the ACL settings. And I'm going to select public and I want to make sure everything inside that folder is set to public as well. So I hit OK. And this is a one-time deal. It's going to work for what I just set. So everything, if I add something to this folder, I have to redo this. So every time you upload a course, if you want it, you have to make sure that course is uh, publicly viewable. Otherwise, it won't work. So it's it's resetting the permissions for all of those files. Now, when we come back to Firefox, we can refresh this page, and we should now have access to the course. So that works great, but every time I add a course, I have to set those permissions. So let me show you how you can create a policy uh, for your bucket. So I'm going to come back here. If I come back up to the Joe demo level, which is my, um, in the root is my bucket, I can set a bucket policy. So there's a website. Let me find that. So this website right here explains how to set the policies. So you want to copy this code here. And what we want to do is just replace his info with your bucket name. So we're going to copy this code and we're going to go into our S3. We're going to set policies. So we're going to get set our policy in here. So we've got our policy. The only thing is we need to change this information here. So we're going to change this with our bucket name, which was Joe Demo. So Joe Demo. And if I did it right, it should work. And it worked. So now I'm going to add another course and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go to my portfolio. Remember the first one we had to set permissions. I'm going to create a new folder and we'll call this Course 2. And let's go ahead and just drag this over in here. It's going to upload it to Course 2. All right, so the course is uploaded. So I'm going to get my URL, so web URL. I'm going to copy this. Let's come back to Firefox. And let's create a new link in here and paste it. And there you go. The course is working. So I created a policy that was universal to the entire bucket. So what's nice about this S3 is you can create as many folders as you want. So for example, you can have a portfolio folder and what you would do is just upload your courses in there. And then if you're using Wix or some other site or let's say you're sharing your, your weekly challenges and things like that, you just have to get the URL. So you do the story.html, web URL, and you'll get the link right here.
or you can do the HTML5 if that's what you want to do. Um, so that's basically it. Of course, there's a lot more you can learn about uh, S3, and there's a lot more you can learn about what you can do with uh, CloudBerry, but that should get you started.